Hey folks, it's Chef Kevin. Welcome to my new kitchen. Beautiful Jamesville, Virginia. The eastern coast of Virginia. Nice, beautiful, quiet. And how do you like that view? You can't beat that, right? Okay. I'm going to be making barbecue chicken. And I'm going to marinate this in yogurt and other spices as well. Yogurt is used as marinade in Greek and Indian cuisine. Now, I don't know exactly how it all works, but it makes a very nice marinade. It goes into the chicken. Now, there's, a, there's sort of an American version of marinating in yogurt but they don't use yogurt, they use buttermilk and the chicken is marinated in buttermilk which has a high fat content and then deep fried. Some of the best recipes are from that type of marinade. So let's take a close look at what I have here. Okay, let's start with the chicken. These are bone-in skin on but I'm going to pull the skin off I'll show you how to do that you can buy them with with the skin off but they charge you a little bit more money for that and it is so easy to take the skin off these thighs I have some cilantro I have Chobani Greek yogurt this is key lime I think that's gonna add a nice little nice little taste this is the uh, the regular you can use low fat if you like but I think that has more taste to it I have some garlic crushed red pepper black pepper salt of course onion powder I have extra virgin olive oil which you have to use to prevent the marinade from burning and I'm going to add a little sesame seed oil just because that's going to add more taste to it okay so let's get right into this let me show you how to pull the skin off that chicken it's very easy to do Take a thigh, take a paper towel, or a dishcloth, something that'll give you some something to grab on. And there you basically have it. You can trim that off with a knife if you'd like. Voila, trim that off just to make it look a little bit more presentable. And that's basically it. So I'm gonna finish de-skinning them and then I'm going to chop up my veggies and then create the marinade. Now I think my dog is enjoying the new house almost as much as I am. You know, this is a fairly healthy meal. It's chicken thighs skinless the bones are left in that's a way to get a little bit more flavor out of it and I'm going to serve it with a salad without any oil or vinegar so it's going to be nice and healthy yogurt is healthy garlic is healthy it's a healthy meal okay if you look very closely on the horizon that is a cruise ship passing my dock and I'm gonna swing the camera to the north 
And there's another cruise ship. This must be rush hour. Okay, folks. Let's get right into this. I have my container of yogurt, key lime yogurt. This is 5.3 ounces. I don't know why they couldn't make it six. Okay, here's my cilantro, chopped finely. It's about uh, a third of a cup, I'd say. I have my diced garlic. This is fresh garlic. Now it looks like a lot, because it is a lot. That's half of a head. And I'm putting that in. I want some flavorful food here. I want some taste. The last two days, I've been surviving on a frozen pizza because I'm still setting up my kitchen. Okay, on the garlic, I always cut off the root end because that could be bitter. And please use fresh garlic. There's nothing like fresh garlic. You can buy the chopped one in a can or in a bottle, but it, it's, it's, it's second place. Okay, onion powder. Good tablespoon. Black pepper. Woo! Good amount. I'm not measuring this stuff out, folks. Eyeballing. Crushed red pepper. Tablespoon or so. Extra virgin olive oil. Use the good stuff for this one. This has good taste to it. About three tablespoons. In sesame oil. Let's just kick it up a notch. Tablespoon. Mix all this together. Smells good already. chicken in. I have some huge pieces here and then I have a small one. So I'm going to have to make sure I cook the small one quicker. Okay folks, that's basically it. Now you should marinate this for between 2 and 24 hours in your fridge. This way, all the beautiful flavors will meld together. And that fresh garlic was actually local garlic from Virginia. One of the good things about living in Virginia is it's, you can get some of the best produce because there's nothing around here other than farms. This is total farmland. And there's also an abundance of fresh fish. Being right on the Chesapeake Bay, you have a beautiful selection of fish. And I'm going to explore that later in this channel. I have a lot of things I'm thinking of and I just have to make them come to fruition. Okay, I'm gonna cover and fridge and then I'm going to barbecue. Okay folks, I got my fire started. I'm going to be using Jack Daniels Whiskey Barrel Smoking Chips. This is going to be nice and flavorful. Really looking forward to it. So here's the deal folks. I'm cooking this indirect. In other words, the heat is on the sides. 
and the foil pin you see in there is just going to catch the drippings so the barbecue stays cleaner and it won't be as smoky, it won't have flare-ups. So this is indirect, I'm not cooking it right on top of the coals because the, the cook time is going to be about 30 minutes or so, so I don't want to burn it. Here are my thighs. They've been marinating for a good eight hours. Some of these are really huge, boy. Cover that up, keep the heat in, and keep the smoke in as well. And there goes the sun, folks. Sunset in Jamesville, Virginia. Looks like I'll be cooking in the dark for a little while, but I'm almost done. So here we have it, folks. The chicken thighs are cooked off. It actually took me almost 50 minutes of cooking time. I thought it would take about 30. I misjudged. This is the first time I'm using that barbecue. So that's my excuse. Okay, let's take one of these out and cut into it. They smell beautiful. I can really smell the smoke. Now, when you see the fluid, the chicken fluid running clear from the chicken, that means it's ready. You don't want to cut into it because then all the juices will flow out. And you really can't use a thermometer because they have bones in it. Okay? Hmm. That is so good. If you can tell it is juicy. Wow. These are not dried out at all. I can taste the garlic, the cilantro. This is good. Look how nice and juicy that is. That is good eats bunch of flavor to it and this really just goes to prove that you don't need a lot of fancy equipment to make good food it's all in the technique and it's all in the flavors that have to blend and go together well that's what it's all about. This, is, this was really easy, really inexpensive, and healthy. So, I hope you watch the entire video. If you like me, if you like my style, you like my show, consider subscribing. Send me a comment, tell me what you're thinking. Until later, peace out.